Hey guys, Abel Ron Johnson here, doing an update today. Uh, it's been a while. Um, some stuff we're gonna go over today is uh, film projects, the gear I got, my family history, and um, that's it. Um, so, uh, future projects, I might make a 30 cal. Um, planning on it. Maybe mortar, bazooka, who knows. The 30 cal might happen. The mortar, iffy. Bazooka is definitely going to happen. Um, so, future projects Battle of Hurricane Force, 4th Infantry Division, 8th Regiment, 8th Infantry Regiment, um, Staff Sergeant uh, gets stranded from his squad or his platoon and go look at that again. Um, and his name is Johnny Johnson. You you know why. Um, 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 then Battle of the Bulge, hopefully. I'm doing um, the Holland, a Holland thing later in November. Kind of like just a, a little short film. So uh, there's that. And then um, what else did I say? The gear I got. Nice little... Spoon says the, the U.S. right there. You can, sign it. you can see it right there. Pretty nice. Really big. Didn't know how big it was. Got a garage cap from out the front. Infantry lining. Pretty nice. Fits nice and small. So there's that. Um, I haven't showed you guys this before, but I've already had it for a long time. Um... Officer's shirt. I think this is um, my grandma had this. He was in uh, either Korea or Vietnam. It says 65, so I was in Vietnam. But uh, she said he served in the Korean War, so that's nice. I like really like these right here. These shoulder patches right here. And they have these little pockets right here. Pretty sick. Pretty nice. Um, I think I showed you this before. Flashlight. Batteries are out, but uh, I have another one somewhere. Pretty sick. Um, so then uh, that's that. My family history. The other day, my brother went on Ancestry.com, searched up a bunch of things. My family uh, lives in the west, western, lives in the west, Midwest. Uh, lives in Huntington, West Virginia. If any of y'all know, if you're close to that. Um, it's in the southwestern part of, um, southwestern part of West Virginia, um, near Charleston. It's, uh, live there. They have a lot of military stores over there. I know they have one in Ashland, Kentucky, and they have one in Charleston. They're pretty nice. They got some nice military gear up there. Um, but my, um, my family... My great 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 grandfather was um it was either my great it was great 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 so three greats three greats grandfather was um in the Civil War with Abraham Lincoln. So yeah. Then um my great grandfather, Papal Spain, I call him Papal Spain, he was in World War One. He came back. Um, then he had his first son, one of many. Um, his first son, Johnny Johnson. He served in World War II and was an uh, engineer, uh, a staff sergeant, staff sergeant Johnny Johnson. Um, they have a picture on him, but I I, I tried to print it out. Well, let me print it out. Do you to pay an extra fee? I don't know. Um, but I'll get that picture with you. Um, he was an engineer. I think he might have built the American Bridge on the Rhine. Um, he might have helped build that. I know he built some other ones. He definitely helped with Operation Market Garden with like uh, the infantry thing. He was he um he told my papa that he was involved. He uh, he said he landed. Um, he has a book. My papa has a book. He said he landed on um, Omaha Beach on. I don't know, it says Sector 2, something like that. If you guys can help me out, please comment. Sector 2, 
He landed um, two days after. Was bringing trucks in. Had to build some couple bridges, and that was it. Um. So most of, since I know that most of my films will be a staff sergeant Johnny Johnson, because if you haven't known me yet, my last name is Johnson. Abel Abel Johnson. So uh, yeah, then um, he's an engineer. I might do a video about that. I gotta look up, give my research, back on ancestor dot com. Um, do my research definitely. I want to see what squad he was in. I want to see what company. I want to see what regiment. I want to see all the guys that he's with, because probably some of them, the odds are probably still alive. Um, he died in the 70s, I believe, of a heart attack. Um, might have been the 70s, 80s, who knows. But uh, we'll get that, and I'll give you an update about that. But uh, Ancestry.com, go find it out. It's amazing what you can find. Mine goes all the way back to the early 1700s, so got a lot more looking to go. So, uh, go check it out. Um, my papa was born in 34, so he been eligible for Korean War. But he went for his physical, had holes in his ears, like in your eardrums. He had um, a pregnant son, a pregnant mom, but she couldn't go back there, I think it was. And then, um, like I said, Johnny that was born in 1924, had a son, and he was born, I think, in the 50s, and he, no, he was born in the 40s, and he was in the Vietnam War, and they were walking, he died in 67, they were walking him and his buddy in a trail, his buddy stepped on a landmine, didn't know it, and his buddy died, and so did he, so I never got to met, meet uh, Johnny Malcolm, that was his name, so yeah. And that's all I have for my war family. Um, so, yeah. Go check out answer.com. Subscribe, comment. Leave comments on what you can find. Please leave comments about your family. Please. I want to know some more about you guys. Um, some comments on what you have. Like, if you have any relatives in the military. If you don't, it's a great thing to get into. Um, so, yeah. Uh, see you next time.